Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I am showing some projects from my Wow Wednesday class, which I do in my studio, and it's kind of an advanced technique, stepped up class a little bit for my season stampers. And I always like to showcase them during my Wow, um, or during my Movie Monday, so that my folks that miss can see how to create um, these projects. So this is the little pop-up card that we made using Everything Amazing, which is in our annual catalog. And this is a fantastic little 3D card. It sits up on your desk, but it does fold flat for mailing. So that is fantastic. So let's show, let me show you how to create that. I do think that this is, this idea is cased from Patty Bennett. And then I just kind of changed the colors and I use that gorgeous peacock foil designer series paper, which is just amazing. Can you see that it's got some nice shimmer and sheen to it? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take a piece of blueberry bushel and it is eight and three eighths by four and a quarter. So I am going to score at three eighths. Um, one and three eighths, two and seven eighths, three and seven eighths, and I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to pull in a piece of granny apple, which is three by four and seven eighths. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to score at three eighths and one and three eighths. So that's all we need for the scoring. Let me throw this out of the way here. And so what we'll get, what we're going to do is go ahead and fold on our score lines and you can see how it starts to automatically roll up to create that box. So now we have them nice and crisp. I don't think I have a bone folder on my table, so that's okay. So what I'm going to do before I before I attach it is go ahead and put my whoops put my designer paper on there get that good and stuck a while goes together so much better if you put your paper on before you assemble your box so we've got that piece there and then this one is going to be on the front And then this one will go on the top. And I'll make sure you guys have the measurements. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with our granny apple piece. Same deal. Okay, and then this one will go across the top. And then we are going to use a little bit of tear and tape for this project. I just love the tear and tape for these. It just holds very well and it's so easy to work with. So I'm just going to do a strip across here where that, that um, 3 8 fold, sorry. I've got the dog is in here blundering around hitting my table. So he's shaking things a little bit. He is, for those of you guys who come to my studio, you know we have a Great Dane puppy. And he just turned, that got a little bit, no, we're okay. He just turned seven months old and he is about 125 pounds, but he's still a puppy. So he doesn't realize how tall he is and how big he is. And he just broke his toe. So he is on bed rest which is not fun. So he's in the studio with me today and he is just into everything. Okay, back to stamping. We're gonna peel this off. Oh my gosh. Hey, he keeps banging into me. Okay, peel this piece off and then what we're gonna do is have it so it looks like this. Okay, so this. <laughs> okay. He's scaring himself now because he's knocking things over. All right, so see where you have no DSP here. Put that down and then you'll fold this in and it is going to attach exactly the way that you need it. Okay, so now it'll pop up and now you've got your 
box. Okay, is that making sense, I hope? So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold this down and we're just going to put adhesive just here on the bottom panel. Like you don't wanna go, you don't want it to be higher than this. So just about two strips of snail worked perfect for me. Uh, pull it down and attach the, the granny apple piece. Just kind of eyeball it, get it attached right in the middle. Then you can peel this one, fold it down, and everything will pop up. Isn't that amazing? So cool. And that, that um, peacock paper is just beautiful. We actually use this for uh, Christmas cards in my Stampa Stack in August, and it just, it lends itself very well. So now what I did, because we've got two step stamping here, is I went ahead and I die cut all of these pieces out ahead of time, and it's going to line up just perfectly, we're hoping. So I'm going to ink up my amazing, now I'm going to bang the table around again. All right. That's in blueberry bushel. All right, so now the main, the wonderful thing about this is that I can put that, because my the A there did not quite come out the way that I wanted it, so I can go back in, put a little ink there, Sometimes that comes because that um, magnet is right there, so it needed a little extra love. Okay, leave that in here. I'm gonna bring in my wishing you an amazing, let me get this stuff out of the way here. I'm gonna ink that up with granny apple green. <clears throat> Make sure that's in there stuck. Close that. And now we have wishing you an amazing birthday. All right, I want to get these out of here. Oh, hold on. Okay, so now the only thing that I did was just come in with some of those little swirlies little birthday celebration bannery things or whatever they are. And just stamp those and then it can go on to onto my card with some dimensionals. Now, the only thing I had on my table was black dimensionals. These are brand new in our holiday catalog. And I had a lot of folks asking me, what does it matter if they're black or white? Well, in most instances, it really does not because they're behind it and you don't see it. But I actually have been creating some projects for Halloween and I'm using some teeny tiny little, little items. And the black dimensionals were perfect because I could almost hide them behind these little teeny pieces and I didn't see the white outline. It was black and it blended in and I was like, aha. Yes, we do need black dimensionals. So I think, I think the pack comes, I know we have big ones and I know we have the minis. I think the pack might have both in it, but I can't remember. So don't quote me on that one. Uh, but I know we do have both. And you think you don't need them, but you probably do. All right, so there you go, guys. That is an amazing little fun pop-up card. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as always, I'm going to give this one away, so make sure you leave a comment either on YouTube or Facebook or my blog, wherever you're seeing this, but you have to check back in because I'm announcing the winners and no one's contacting me with their information. So after a week, I got to pick new winners, guys. So make sure you check back if you would like to have one of these. Leave a comment and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week for Movie Monday.